you guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is crystal thanks for checking in hope you stay i don't do long intros so let's just get into this day now, video. i want to try to understand chevelle i really do but i feel like she's I'm just here right now right now but you're about to leave i'm coming back dog keep telling me you can't say that you can yeah. say that out your mouth but i don't know I, I understand he got a one-way ticket and that is making her feel some kind of way. Like, I totally get all that shit. I think it was wrong for how he did it. But I think the one way they could resolve this shit is just for him to say, if you're so worried about the one-way ticket, baby, how about you buy me that ticket back, um, make it for two weeks from now, so I can go be with my damn family. And that would have probably solved that whole fucking argument. Chef Val, you had to be in a big hurry to watch his ass pat that you did not put no You did not put no lotion on your elbows. You knew you should have put some lotion on your elbows, Chevelle. That shit wasn't correct. I wasn't correct, girl. You need to do better. I'm not doing that. Now back to the real issue here. This girl has known him for what? Two years? Two years, he's known his family his whole life. Like he said, my family did those 12 years with me. I deserve, and they deserve to see him. He deserved to see them. I don't see what the fucking big issue is. Like I said, I understand he did the one-way ticket. I, I actually, fuck that. I do know what the issue is. The issue is for Chevelle is not that he's leaving, is that she knows the mama want to keep his ass there. That's what the issue is. She knows the mama going to have him doing everything and anything in her power to keep him there from finding him a job and finding him a new piece of ass to deal with. She knows that. So that's what she afraid of. Not that she don't trust him. She know the mama and the sisters is going to be on some fuck shit. That's what, so that's this is, all this is what they, so they And they already told me that they wanted you to come out there. They want you to, to, you know, they want you to be there. You can make it happen right here. But like I said, I understand. Got a one-way ticket. I need a moment to figure it out. Figure what out? Can I just say this? Thank you someone for telling me that that person in my last video that I did on them was him. I don't like all the dreads in his head. I like the little tighter, simple look where I can see his part because his damn face too damn small for all that damn hair. It's too small. And the hair's not my patch, you know what I'm saying? And girl, I don't know. Um, I guess the barbershop that his mama hooked him up with, the little man, is probably where he got the idea to put all that shit in his teeth because you see the barbershop man can barely speak damn stuff. I want my son to see you. You got time to talk to him about the business? Like, you know, right okay. But I do kind of understand what he's saying, but I'm pretty sure that's where he got the idea to put a whole bunch of shit in his mouth. <laughs> My son did that shit. Before he went to prison, he had a short little haircut, wearing little polo shirts and shit. Now you see his ass, he got dreadlocks and gold teeth. I said, if you don't take that shit out your mouth, they do not have a dental plan in prison. They do not have a dental plan in prison. Finally, he took that shit out of his mouth. I told him, you just look stupid. Stupid with that shit. You from fucking San Diego. You ain't from the South, nigga. Every time. I told you, every episode she gonna bring up the fact when you was in jail. It's like, damn, Chevelle, he is gonna be a family. Let that boy go see his mama and his people. He been with you the whole time. They should be pissed, jealous of you. You've hogged up all of his damn time. You might understand how you not understand where I'm coming from. But you know, you can because you talked a good game when you was in jail. So let him go visit his people. I don't understand why. I do understand, but goddamn, she's just being really, um, she's being really extra and and dramatic. But I never forget the look on her face when he told her she was going. I really felt sorry for her in that moment. Like I really did. This ain't even up for no debate. I'm going to Texas. That's what it is. So. Okay, so let's talk about the mama. I'm annoyed that I'm seeing this woman run out of this nice big manicured house, nice yard. Oh, uh, like nice neighborhood. And she got on that fucking wig. Stop cussing. 
She got on that fucking wig. Yes, yes, a lot of F words is gonna be in there because they was pissing me off watching this. Now, she can get rid of the part on the side of the wig and make it a whole uh, natural wig. Like, I love wigs and weaves, so when I see somebody with a bad wig or a bad weave, it irritates the entire shit out of me. It really does. Can you see? It irritates fuck out of me. It's like, girl, you looking like Bobby Brown from the 90s with that haircut, except you tried to fluff it up a little bit. I couldn't take that shit anymore. It's like, girl, you cute. And I think his mama's pretty. If she don't get that shit off her head, though, I couldn't take it. It's like, girl, um, you need to do something else with that shit. I don't care. Now, now that I'm done fucking with her, the mama ain't no better than Chevelle in a sense. Like, this boy just wanted to get away from Chevelle for someone to stop telling him what to do, how to be, what to do, all these plans. And he get over there with his mama, and she doing the exact same thing. Got him going on um, little places to meet someone to try to hook him up with his career. She's literally planning his career for him. A little white lie. A white lie? Just a deal. One of these options we was talking about. I ain't doing these options, man. I think if you were to work here, you'd like it. And you think good here, that's the perfect job? It's a perfect start. Now, as a mama, I understand that. I understand that. I, I had to really evaluate some of the things I said in my last video on them as uh, her being an asshole trying to introduce that boy to other people. But I had to get real honest and retract some shit as a mom. I think I'd be doing the same shit if my son got out and um, was with someone he wasn't married with and she was taking all this time. And I felt like with my son currently in prison, I've been down with you 13 years. This have been down with you too. I need you to come home because I've been waiting and waiting and struggling and crying. And hell no. So, um, yeah, I'd be doing every. I would be doing the same shit his mom is doing. I'm going to have to be <laughs> fucking honestly real about that. I would be doing probably the same thing because that's my baby. That's my son. And I did 13 years more than that than the heifer that just strolled up in here. Talking about I want to have a family. Mm. My family been doing time with me the whole time I've been doing the time. So they deserve to spend time with me just as I deserve to spend time with them. So... That's part of the reason why I'm down here. Also, you know, things was moving kind of too fast for me out there. Um, I feel sorry for Quaylon because he's just being dragged in both directions. He just want to be in a place where he can get his head thoughts together as what he wants to do and how he wants to do it and I wish they would give that boy the opportunity and time to figure out what the hell he wants to do with his life um, and where he wants to spend his life it's clear clear that he wants his family together you know and I can understand that I think he loves Chevelle I really do um, he definitely appreciates what she's done for him and I have to give kudos up to Chevelle too to hold him down I gotta give her that we all gotta give her that but he still need time to make his own decisions to see where he wants to be so if they do decide to get together this could be something that's gonna last and not end that's all I'm saying so Chevelle you need to light the fuck up and let him you know take his little trip be with his family assess his feelings you know why when a man tell a woman how he feels she get all up in her feelings about that shit. And that's why men don't want to be wanting to tell women shit. Because when, they, when they're when they honest, the woman didn't hear what she wanted to hear. So now she's in her fucking emotions. I've been that way. That's why I say that shit. So she needs to fall the hell back and relax. The mama needs to fall the hell back and relax. I'm the mama. But like I said, as a mama, we got plans. So we just love our kids and we want them to make it. And we don't want no outside interference. And that means the new bride, if we feel she's not for you. Um, but we can't really say Chevelle is not for him. Um, she loves him. And she... Okay, and basically I'm, you're I'm, leaving I'm you. this because I want to. Right, but you're leaving me and Myela. But when you were in jail, you basically said that we was going to be a family. And we was going to start out. But now you're going to Texas. And she wants a father for her child. So, you know, can't fault her for wanting those things out of life. You know, I really can't. I just hope they shit, get, they get it together. But we got more to see from this damn couple. We do. We got a whole lot more to see from this damn couple. I swear, you guys, watching this episode, it 
kind of reminded me of my family dynamics with my son who's soon to be out he's been sending this shit home and everything but he also has a little sister that um is now grown but was a little sister when he went in so just watching that just reminded me of the um when I took my daughter to see her brother uh, that was like two three years ago and he hadn't seen her since she was like a little kid so to see that it just reminded me how their relationship is going to be when they get out because that was her boo-boo and he did anything to protect her when um, he was out in this world when they were kids so I totally get it and I understand the mama saying go out there and, and, and explore your options yeah he should explore his options he should explore his options i'm not saying go out there putting this little penis and everything that's not what i'm saying when i say explore your options but see how you feel and if it's right and he's mission surveil he gonna go back but i think he gonna try to ask surveil to move to houston what do you guys think i think he gonna try to ask her to move, move to houston hell i'm surprised surveil ain't even <laughs> and, uh packed up her shit and on her way now but whatever uh, she said she ain't gonna wait though she said she ain't gonna wait if he gonna come back but it's like stop making that boy feel guilty for wanting to see his fucking family surveil if you see this video stop it you need to relax and i hope he does come back to you um apparently him proposing that do that i thought was a whole nother dude is your man so apparently he gonna come back please put his hair back to where it was i don't like that new dreadlock look he looked funny he looked like it smell i i don't like it i don't like i don't like it anyway you guys i will see you with my next video on john and destiny um shortly love you guys don't be an asshole have a great sunday bye Nobody.